Hey guys, this is Paul C. Badgley reporting for Beyond the Music, and I have with me Andrea Santa Maria. How you doing tonight? Doing very well. Please welcome to the Tobacco Company stage, Andre Santa Maria. <laughs> I think at the age of seven, right? On a snare? Is that how you started with music? Yeah, and it was actually kind of messed up. I Apparently I mistreated that snare, and so my dad and my big brother took it away from me, and then like two years later, all of a sudden I have a guitar waiting for me underneath the Christmas tree. I was like, hell yeah! I never haven't put it down since. I almost brought it tonight, I should have, but it's not acoustically well for a tobacco company. Gotcha. Yeah. So it still, it still fits? You can still play it? Oh yeah, I take it to the river. I just took it to the beach two weeks ago. Excellent. Actually, I played it today. <laughs> I'm sure there are many songs that you've written on that guitar, so it's pretty sentimental, I guess. In a way, yeah, absolutely. Um, but over the years, collected plenty of guitars, and all of them have their own little stories and new songs that I've written on them and stuff like that. Um, but that particular guitar was the first thing I learned everything to start on. that you are not the only musical person in your family. You've got mom, dad, brothers, your twin brother, and um, and an, an older brother, is that right? I got an older brother, gotcha. older brother, twin brother. My dad is a percussion player. My twin brother is a bassist. Uh, phenomenal. Same with uh, my older brother. Probably the two best musicians I know. Um, and that's not even saying because they're my brothers. They're just <laughs> that good. Um, but then we have, uh, like I said, my father, he's a percussion drummist. Uh, his girlfriend Sarah is a uh, is a singer, and they play in a band called Vexine. They're very good. Um, not exactly the same genre as myself, but they uh, they like to pull out the funk and pull out you know everything else that they can. Um, so my even mother, the Richmond diversity comes in within your family. Oh yeah, which is nice. My mother just likes to dance. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> you are native what you think of the Richmond music scene um, I've been playing in the Richmond music scene for uh, close to almost 10 years now um, I feel like it's very diverse a lot of different groups you know what I'm saying a lot of different genres floating around but I think that we have a lot of locals around here that really do want to see good music you know and uh, we have really great musicians in this town um, I think a lot of them need a more a lot of them need to collaborate in my opinion. to other cities, areas, that kind of sort of thing? Um, well, I've been to Virginia Beach, Fredericksburg. Like, if I'm talking about Virginia itself, I've been to all those small places, Salem, Virginia, Northern Virginia, um, even a couple of colleges. And they're just, I mean, it's almost the same way, in a way. Um, some towns don't 
they're not really as into the music scene as they should be, I feel like. Right. But uh, they, like I said, we got a lot of people all around this state, too. I know I'm all over the place. <laughs> they're, they're, they're some good guys. Still a dream, pretending like I'm 17, yeah, it's crystal clear. What's your plan as of now going forward with your music? Uh, I'm making an EP. I'm gonna try and put it out hopefully mid August. Um, if that does not work, then I mean end of August, early September. Um, and what I what I'm actually aiming to do is not so much be a performer as it is just a songwriter for other people that are interested in these songs. That you know, I mean, I like to perform, but I know I'm not the I'm not perfect at it, and I'm just but I write a good song, you know. Just a catchy tune. So I figure, you know, I can get other great musicians to play these songs. Just learn them, do what they need to do with them, or however they want to manipulate them, in that sort of sense. Sure. So any of you Richmond singers out there that just can't make the song right, call Andreas and he'll write you a song. Steal it. <laughs> <laughs> he'll probably want some royalties, but that's fine. We can work that out later. One or two dollars. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Andreas. Appreciate this it. This is Andreas Santa Maria. One more time. I am Paul C. Bagley, and you have just gone beyond the music. I just keep playing back. We'd like to introduce you to our next artist, Andre Santa Maria from right here in Richmond. Andre uh, began playing music at age seven on a snare that he got as a gift. And then at age nine on a small acoustic guitar that his dad gave him that he still plays on today. Andre uh, played with Josh and Gabriel, his twin and older brother, in the Santa Maria Brothers. But tonight he'll be playing solo, doing covers and originals, some of which are on his EP entitled A Santa. His music has elements of Latin, jazz, rock and soul that he simply describes as Latin funk. Please welcome to the Tobacco Courtney stage, Andre Santa Maria.